Early Sunday morning. You know what we do on early Sunday mornings? We brunch. Brunch. You guys asked for it. So here we are throughout Boathouse's new brunch. You should have done mimosa. You heard the girl. Brunch start with buttered rolls, cinnamon rolls. I don't know what this monstrosity is, but uh, it's a bit messy for the first thing morning. It smells like a cinnamon roll. <laughs> Top like a cinnamon sugar butter. Uh, basically a breakfast cinnamon roll from a dinner roll. Nice and fluffy. Sweet but less sweet than a cinnamon roll. It's manageable. You maybe not do like me and use a knife and fork. Three and a half out of five minutes. So you have all these variations of mimosas. Peach mimosa. Or pear mimosa. I'm kind of curious about this one. Well, the princess ordered it. Looks uh, pear y. Tastes like canned pears, parade, and put in champagne. It was a fresh pear, I might like a little bit more. A little bit too sweet for me. Three out of five bucks. It's a syrupy. It's a syrup texture for me. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, this is the nice one. I kind of want to keep this one for myself. It tastes like strawberry candy. I like this. And we have the strawberry splash, which is basically just a strawberry mimosa with another puree at the bottom here. Which tastes a little bit more natural, but it's also kind of syrupy. But the flavor's a little bit lighter, I can stand this. Three and a half in front Lovely and large avocado toast with a salad. Apparently the rolls are vegan, but the bread that they usually serve us with is not So, it looks like a lot, and it isn't. I appreciate the effort they put into making sure they had something vegan. They sent an army of people over here to go through everything to make sure that even came out to check when they found out something might not be vegan, so I appreciate that. But, uh, it's a thick boy. I feel like they could have sliced this a little bit thinner and gotten away with it, but it's still like two thirds of a roll. And the rolls are huge, so. Let's try to get a little bit of everything in here. A little piece off. It is toasted. 
I love the avocado. And the wedges. It's seasoned really well. They very look very, very generous with the seasons on top. The issue is the bread, it, it tastes more like uh, an open face avocado sandwich than avocado does. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. If you like bread, you're gonna like this. But you didn't understand. Plant-based people love brunch. It's like the most important meal of the day if you're plant-based. It's like you need at least one actual plant-based option. This isn't terrible. This is three and a half out of five months. I would eat this and not be ashamed of it. I don't know if you can call something that's all the same style of lettuce and nothing else a salad, but it's here. Mm. I dress it now. Just oily enough. Just like peppered enough. Three out of five points. Even with the modifications, I think it's solid breakfast. Right? This one may be a bit confused. It is a crab cake Benedict with prosciutto. So instead of your normal like either like a crab cake on top of an English muffin or your protein ham or whatever on an English muffin on top of a poached egg, this is a poached egg with prosciutto on top of a crab cake. Very crabby. And the tight roll of prosciutto. With the hollandaise and the crab cake, I was expecting like a really strong ishi taste, especially since I didn't use the lemon. But the prosciutto actually helps cut through all that. So it just comes out slightly salty rather than being very ishi. Which for me is great. I love that. The first bite's really rich, but not too rich where I'm not gonna finish the whole thing. We have three and a half out of five bites. We have this side of asparagus. You've been here a while, you guys know I love asparagus. Basically any vegetable tree shape. Chris cooked all the way through a little bit of char. It's three out of five blocks. So we're also getting to try a little bit of their chicken and cheddar biscuits, which is a ridiculous sized chicken strip on top of a cheddar biscuit with like, looks like some old day seasoning and eggs with chives. You would definitely walk away from this completely full. I've never in my life experienced what I consider to be cheddar gravy, and now I'm questioning why I've never had it. That's amazing. It's like a cheddar spice gravy with chicken strip and a very soft biscuit, the eggs and chive. That's brunch. Four and a half and five plus. I'm definitely feeling brunched. I'm feeling medium brunched. The food was, uh, it was okay. The plant based options are awful. I appreciate them trying. It was a, a good effort coming to the table and seeing what they could work on what they had. But in 2020, every meal should have at least one one actual option. Well, they were supposed to have dueling pianos too. They have one guy here playing music, and the room that they sat us in, we didn't even get to hear him. So that kind of that was disappointing. Right, they even like you come outside and there's speaker playing what they're playing, but in the back room. You can hear literally nothing. There's no music pumping. There's like area music for the restaurant pumping, but no piano music pumping through at all. And online it said that they were doing the piano from 11 to 3, so we booked our reservation after 11 to make sure that we could hear that. But they didn't start playing until On the menu it said 10 to 3, so it's a little bit of conflicting information there as well. I would say probably come 
We're gonna come, come around 11 o'clock. Okay. But we, we definitely think this is something still new. There is room for improvement, and of course, if something changes, and you guys let us know, we will come back. The comments will always be the place to let us know. If there's any other brunch around Walt Disney World in Orlando period that you like us to try, that's always gonna be the place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this, and... We have new videos by this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And don't eat fish. Don't listen to her. Ariel will thank you.